Uh, this is shown here, um, which I think is one of the most scary movies I've ever seen. Uh, this is uh, basically a device like this where they've been looking at uh, uh, where uh, subjects are looking while they're driving a car. Uh, so the way it's done is uh, to use infrared cameras, so uh, the pupils are reflecting infrared lights and you can sort of record uh, where they're looking based on a video camera that you put on their head so that you can see what their visual field is and then you can see where their eyes are moving, uh, for instance here while they're driving. Um, uh, is it running? Yep. Yeah running. Uh, so you can see this is where she's looking while she's driving and, and what you have to remember is that she can essentially only see something clearly in that area where she's looking. The rest is reconstructed uh, based on anticipation of what should be there. Uh, so essentially if she didn't look at that one uh, she would be completely missing it if she was looking somewhere else. Uh, and of course here she's looking there, still expecting that everything up there is as it uh, should be. Uh, so it's just your attention is moving together with this spot, which means that the rest of it is just being reconstructed, which in many ways I, I think is a little bit scary. But you, you can also see where the attention is being uh, directed when, when there are objects moving in, in the environment, which of course makes sense in order to avoid accidents also. So maybe it's okay. This is uh, one of the most uh, well-known uh, sketches of where we actually look. We, we have a feeling that when we're uh, seeing a face, we're just looking at it and we're taking in the whole face. But this is not the case. The way that we look at faces is actually this. So we look quite a lot at on the area around the mouth, the nose, and the eyes, and the rest is sort of uh, not really something that we need to pay too much attention to. Uh, so this is just showing how the gaze is jumping from spot to spot, and you can see how much time is being spent in these areas, a little bit up there, and just scanning like this. So the, the eyes are constantly moving around and uh, sampling different parts of uh, the visual scene in this case also. Uh, the way that that is done is uh, so-called saccades. Uh, and the saccade is a movement which, as shown here, lasts about uh, 100 milliseconds, maybe 200 milliseconds. Uh, and it occurs at different frequencies, but uh, it's something which happens about every second or so. We make one of these saccades. Uh, completely unconscious, it's controlled by the brain and we don't notice it at all. The problem you could say from the point of our visual information is that not only is most of the visual field unknown to us because we only see something in the fovea, but whenever we have a saccade, this movement is too fast for us to see anything while that movement takes place. So it's a relatively large movement. You can see eye position. It's going from maybe uh, 5 degrees to 25 degrees within 100 uh, milliseconds. It's a very quick movement. And during that movement, there's absolutely no possibility that we can see anything clearly because the eyes are moving so quickly. Um, this means that every second, more or less, we are losing 10 to 20 percent of the information which is available. Uh, so how does the brain cope with that? Because we don't have the experience that when we're looking that we sort of every now and then just go blank and don't see anything while our eyes are moving. So our brain has to have sort of a memory of what was there 200 milliseconds before and then sort of reconstruct when the eyes have moved that things are still the same. Uh, so our brain has an anticipation that things will be the same as they were 200 milliseconds ago in order to do this. And um, we, we can actually illustrate that. So you see that this is blinking now and again. This is to illustrate a saccade. Now the question is, do you, do you see the same picture every time? They're not. <laughs> there is a difference. 
Yeah. So if you look at the shadow down there, so it's there on one of the pictures, but it's not there on the other one. It's very, very difficult to see because of this blinking. Uh, you sort of lose a little bit of uh, your uh, attention. If, if you don't attend to it, uh, you don't see that change. So you become blind to that uh, change. And that's only because it's blinking. If it weren't blinking, it would be very, very easy. Oops. Okay, so we're back. So if, if the image is changing like this with a break in between, it's, it's kind of difficult to see if, it, if you don't know that it is there. However, if it's like this, I'm not sure, is that running? Yeah, it's running. Uh, so in this case, the image is not flickering and therefore it's pretty easy to spot this one which comes up and down. Uh, so it's, again, this memory thing that if, if you have the updating continuously, you, you spot the difference immediately. Um, so another way of showing this, uh, I don't know why this is down there, but it should work anyway, is uh, also this gradual change, which you actually saw also in the monkey business uh, video, but this is kind of the same thing. So if you watch this image, uh, it's going to change gradually. Um, and your task is to spot uh, the change that is happening. Um, and it's already happening now, so you should be able to spot something uh, changing. Um, I could reveal that it has something to do with color. Sorry? Well, the flow is changing. From the flow is changing, yes. So it started out being almost orange, and now if you look at it, it's uh, almost purple, blue kind of thing. Uh, just to give you an idea of how much of a change, when it stops, it should go back to orange in a little while. Come on. Oh, let's see if I stop it, if it will work. Yeah, there was the orange. So the change is really huge, but because it's such a gradual, your brain is constantly just expecting that things are just the same as they were just a little bit before, and if it's not a quick change, then it won't notice it at all. 